The Accor Atlantic City in Lagos has been praised as one of the biggest privately financed civil engineering developments of its kind. The so-called Great Wall of Lagos Sea Defense Barrier, which protects the new city, has been hailed as an ingenious feat of engineering. But how is this wall being built? How strong is it? And when it is finished, will the seven kilometer long sea revertment be capable of standing up to the power of the Atlantic Ocean? In 2003, South Energix Nigeria Limited, the developers of Eco Atlantic, worked to find a solution to mitigate the effects of coastal erosion that was devastating Victoria Island in Lagos State. A two-year study resulted in the design of the Great Wall of Lagos. It will not only protect the new city, but also low-lying Lagos from possible flooding. The wall itself is made up of different layers of rock and concrete, with most of the structure lying between 7 and 11 metres underwater. Now these rocks range from one kilogram to 1,000 kilogram in size. And it forms a very dense pyramidal core, which is obviously a very strong structure. You need to put what we call armor rocks on top of that. Then we construct a concrete wave deflector wall. It's designed to deflect any overspray that's coming over the rock and landing inside the city. The most visible sign of the strength of the wall lies in these X-shaped concrete blocks called acropods. The Great Wall needs 100,000 of them to ensure adequate armor protection to dissipate the power of ocean surge. Eventually, the level of the sand beneath me will rise to just below the height of these acropods and it is at this level that the city will rise. Major investor confidence in the project highlights just how attractive it is. Orlean Invest, an international company, is building Eco Energy Estate that is aimed at the oil and gas sector. We needed at least uh, 100 to 500,000 uh, square meters of land. With the project that the Atlantic uh, embark on, you have a with a little bit of imagination, in 10 to 15 years, you have uh, a new Lagos, which can be the financial capital of West Africa. Uh, so for us, it was uh, a golden opportunity. We jump on it immediately. Eco Atlantic's developers say their efforts to comply with environmental issues continue at the highest level. They also insist that they are making every effort to ensure that Eco Atlantic will more than live up to expectations. It will, they say, not only be a safe and environmentally conscious city, but a bustling economic and residential hub that is second to none. Keisha Gitari, Lake.